Hello, folks, and welcome. Linux Mint 21.2, the latest from Linux Mint, Cinnamon Desktop. And uh, I also am planning on um, similar videos for the Mate and XFCE desktop, possibly even LMDE5. But in either case, folks, welcome. I'm going to be talking about power keys. I've done something similar on Linux Mint 21, but again, Linux Mint 21.2 is brand new. But not for about, mm, about a week. So power options. I have uh, one here that does four actions. I've got two buttons that are dedicated for powering off my system and restarting, no questions asked. I have four options for some applets, and then I have the standard power off key with a timer. If any of that stuff interests you, then continue watching. So my video is being filmed in 1920 by 1080. All my videos have timelines and chapters. If you're not a subscriber, I do encourage that you subscribe. I have um, some videos to offer you on my YouTube site, uh, 193 to be exact, if I can highlight that. And I'll use Alt and F4. So again, welcome. If you're brand new to Mint, special welcome to you. It's a great system. So hopefully you've had enough time to uh, look at the welcome screen. I'm going to use Alt and F4 and start the video. Let's talk about this key here. It normally doesn't have a timer. So I'm going to turn that feature to default. When you install Linux Mint, whether you uh, upgrade it or install it fresh, this is what your power key will look like. It's waiting for you to perform an action. Suspend, restart, cancel, shut down. So I added also a desklet, and I'll come back to that. It also mimics the same action as that button. Okay. So how about if we add a timer? How do you do that? Well, you can right click on your panel. And if you're new to Mint, this is the panel. And click System Settings and go to General this way. You can also click the Mint menu and open up the System Settings Control Center this way. All right, before I get going, I wanted to let you see my themes because when I start creating these, those icons may change slightly. I'm using Radioactive for a mouse pointer. That's another video in itself. This is non-standard. I'm using the Mint White Red, Blue, and the Linux Mint. You can certainly do that yourself also in the settings. But in neither case, I'm going to continue and hit General. You want the middle option, miscellaneous options, enable timer when logging out or shutting down. You plug in the time frames. All right, so you probably don't want to use really low seconds, but more importantly, it's your machine. And uh, you plug in the times you want. I'll set mine to 16 seconds or maybe even 15 just to have a lower time frame. And then hit close. Now when I click on the shutdown key, I can walk away from the machine and then 15 seconds later it's going to shut off my system without me clicking anything. This might be a desirable action for some. You can also hit cancel and restart and suspend. I got to do that before it times out. <laughs> All right, so this also now mimics the same action. And that's a restart. Uh, my user for today is Mr. Bob. It's just a made up name. I like to have fun once in a while. All right, so this is a desklet. So is this. These are launchers. And that is an applet. So basically, you have that as your standard icon to ch shut down your system with or without the timer. That's all up to you. But you now know how to activate the timer and set the timer to whatever you want. And if you want one of these icons, I'm going to talk about that first. This can be moved around. It's just a desklet. How do you install desklets if you're brand new to Mint? Well, you could right click System Settings and hit Desklets here. You could also open up your Mint menu, open up Control Center and click Desklets here. But the most simplest way of doing it is to right click on your desktop and find Desklets in the menu. All right, with that said, what you want is this one. That's this guy. You can find that in the download section by typing in Mint as in Linux Mint. It's called Mint to the Mint Assistant. So normally, when you are clicking in here, you'll see these little arrow keys. And if you want something installed, you click it. And it installs, and then it moves it into this field here. It won't have a check mark. It'll look just like this. This is 
you can uninstall this at any time. I can do the same thing with the calendar. Now, you'll notice three lock symbols here, which means I can't uninstall these. So let's just talk about that one for right now. I'm not really going to get a dedicated video on desklets. But all I, all I want to show you is when you activate these things, they normally appear on the left side of your screen. And then it's up to you to put them wherever you want. This, by the way, does not have a configuration box, unlike my other one for the calendar. So there's no configuration. This is what you get. A dedicated lock screen, a logout power. Again, if, it's, if you turn the timer on, it has the power. And you can just let it go and it'll pop, shut itself down. Or if you click the restart, it'll also auto restart or you can force it or hit cancel. Keep in mind, you can do the same thing over here. I can automatically click that or that or this without the timer or with the timer. doesn't matter. All right. This is the size you get. Now I noticed you, you probably noticed these are big icons. These are launchers. They're just like any standard icons that are on your desktop. So if I were to add some, uh, you know, regular desktop icons, I'll just do the home folder. That's the size. These are roughly the same size. So your choices of icon size are, well, dinky, that size, and jumbo or larger. Just a little humor there, folks. Got to have a little humor once in a while. So I have these set to larger, but you notice this didn't change in size because that's not an icon. That's a desk light. Just wanted to clarify that for you new users. Okay. So in either case, I'll talk about these keys in a second. So these are dedicated. Again, they're nice and convenient, especially on laptops and they mimic your standard icon. If you have the timer, so be it. If you don't have the timer, so be it. But again, since I have the timer, I have the timer here also. However, this one does a dedicated shutdown. You can also overwrite it. You can also overwrite it here, or you can just let it count down and it'll shut down the system. Same thing goes with restart. I can go grab my coffee now. Uh, Mr. Bob is just the user, if I did make mention of that. It's just a made up name. I like to have fun a little once in a while. All right, so that's a desk lit. So is that. These are launchers. Those I'll talk about here in a minute. But I'll leave those down here for now. So let's talk about these guys. What do they do? Well, these are called applets. All right, so these applets do this also. All four of them. You don't need all four. I'm just showing you different versions. This has no icons. This one has a timer. They all do the same thing though. And you got to be careful with these also, just like these. These, uh, by the way, when you double click on these things, they just restart the system and power off. No questions asked. You need to save your files before using keys like this and these. Always save your files before performing these shutdown actions or restarting. All right, with that said, when you power off, this does the same thing. Okay, so what are these things? Well, I'm going to give you the names first. System Controls Applet. Number two is called Session Manager. Number three is called Shutdown Applet. Number four is called Shutdown Timer. Where do you find them? Right click Applets. That one, that one, that one, and one more. Same thing, just like a desklet, you download them and you hit plus. You probably don't want all four of these. I'm just giving you some examples. Okay, so again, they perform different actions, but they're all in the same category of either shutting down or logging out or restarting. There's one in here that actually has restart sentiment but you can right click on your panel, hit troubleshoot and restart cinnamon here. Okay, so careful using these. Again, you can find them in applets. Pick your choice. I, I believe there's one more actually. If I type in download and type in uh, SHU, yeah, it's this one here. I did not install. 
these are installed because they have check marks on them. All right, with that said, what, what do you do with these and how do you create them? Well, these are the ones that you can move around on your desktop and you can also add them to the menu if you like. So the restart now and the power off key actually use different commands. It's the ones that I chose. Let's put it that way. So let me talk about this one first. I'll make it in a darker area. How's that? I'm going to right click and hit properties. I'll let you see the command. So how do you create something like this? I'll just move it to the side so you can see the icon. Right click on your desktop. Third item is create launcher. And um, launchers are very powerful. And uh, one of the reasons that I pointed to my uh, what I'm using for a, a theme set today is because sometimes these icons are slightly different. Okay, so but in either case, we're doing the restart now, and it, it's going to be using a shutdown command, but with an option. So restart. Give it a name. What's in a name? Whatever you want to call it. So I need a name and a command at a bare minimum. So the command in this case, I'm going to be using shutdown, lowercase, space, dash, R, as in reset, or restart, space now. And I'll tell you what that command does. So basically, it's going to shut down my system and then reboot. And then um, the now action is because I double click the icon. In other words, perform that now. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Comments are optional. Launching terminal, don't need. Use dedicated GPU, don't need. Rocket icon, you okay with that? Hit okay. If not, click that and go find an icon. Do you want one of these? Uh, actually, a restart key is uh, not found in here, but I could click applications, categories, and scroll through these. These are just icons. I could use emojis. I could use a silly face, like maybe kissy face, if I wanted to. It's all about the command. I can also assign my own icons. So um, you probably have seen some of my videos. If not, I have a folder that I demo a lot. These are icons that I created. Some of them I downloaded it. Some, some things came off the internet. So I'm going to use Darth Vader just to have a little bit of fun. Well, it doesn't matter what icon I put in here. Okay. So restart is just the name I gave it. Shutdown is the most important, the command itself. Shutdown space dash R dash now. Again, what it's going to do is if you double click on these icons, it's going to shut down your system and then reboot. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. So when you do in launchers, it's going to ask you one more question. Would you like to add this launcher to the menu also, the Mint menu? It will be placed in the other category initially. Most of the time you want to answer that question, yes. However, if you answer no, it will be not in your Mint menu and you won't be able to reuse that in case you delete that by accident. I'm going to answer yes. So these two icons do the exact same job because the commands are the same. Shut down, dash R now. In other words, reboot. So far, so good. The benefit of adding it to your menu, in case you delete that icon, is you can go find it later and add it back to your desktop. You can also add it to the panel, and you can also add it to your favorites. And in Linux Mint Cinnamon, you can drag these icons this way and also this way. You can't drag it to the desktop. On a Mate desktop, Linux Mint Mate, you can do that, but not on Cinnamon. Now, more importantly, these are single click icons. So that would mean if I click them, they would restart my machine immediately, whether I'm filming or whether I got open documents. It's the same thing with these icons down here, the applets. Be careful using these icons. Personally, I probably wouldn't be putting that in here because of the fact that I would risk clicking that icon, but it is certainly your machine. So that's a restart icon. Again, if I delete this by accident, I can go back in here and place that back on the desktop. That's the benefit of doing that. Let's talk about this icon here. Power off, exactly what it says. So it's the same thing as me clicking that. It automatically powers off the system. 
Uh, I, I tested at least two of these. They do that. They don't ask any questions. It just powers off your system. So is this. But this one is mobile. I can move this around. So more importantly, double clicking powers the system off. It uses a different command. This uses a power off command. This was a shutdown dash R now command. So how do we make one of these? That one's pretty simple. Right click, create launcher. How about if we call this one power off now? Just to be different. All right, so um, we still need a name. So the name, the command is power off. Very simple. You got the little uh, check mark or whatever icon, depending on your theme. You're good to go. I got this blue arrow that says I'm good to go. Now, if I want this icon here, I just type in shut. And you will find not only the little, this looks like a light switch on the wall, and you have three red icons for shutdown. And you also have two black and white ones. If you're using dark wallpaper, you may want to think about that one. You can also bring in your own icons. I'll do the same thing here. Go with something goofy. How about if we'd use a stormtrooper this time, just to have a little fun. One more time. Would I like to add this to the mint menu? Yes or no? In most cases, I would say yes. So now it's in, I got both of these in here. So basically these two icons do the same job. Okay. Now we have some options to think about. This one would be the safest. These over here, again, you can add all kinds of um, applets. Just keep in mind that this power off, I, I tested at least two of these and they will power off the system immediately, just like these icons will. But these you can put anywhere on your desktop and nice and large too, if you like. Just be aware that these are double click. If you place them in your mint menus, again, you can certainly do that. I will do the power off key here and the power off key here. Single click, this will power off my system. And so will this. So be careful with those kind of keys. Again, both of these are the same and both of these are the same. Thank you for watching.